All right, we're gonna try this again. I was just down here and I videotaped like 12 minutes of stuff that all just got deleted. So anyway, this is the downstairs studio in Golden's Bridge, New York, Westchester County. This is where I do some of the stuff, you know, when I'm in Westchester at my folks' place. Which I will be getting the boot on the 24th of November, so I'm gonna have to get crafty and come up with some, some other um, plan or method or scheme, not scheme, but plan or method to be able to paint which is what I always do constantly, consistently, every day. You always find me painting something somewhere. You know, I have studios all over. I have a studio in Mount Kisco with some more work. But, um, all right, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I have down here right now. Give you a taste of the Scribs life. You know, this is called... Um, yeah, this one... This one, this one is a serious piece because it's, it's about remembering where we come from and understanding that God is still with us, even in, when times are really tough. So it's called Remember the Messiah, you know, just so people don't forget and get caught up in so much drama, drugs, and meaningless relationships and fornication, stuff like that. But I'm serious. Check it out. Right? signature scripts it's um it's an oil painting mixed with acrylic too so you know sometimes I do stuff like that and then I switch it up and I do like the interior design keep it simple right you know everything is signed too and this one's called Google piece I'll show you the whole thing yeah I'll show you the whole thing hold on Google piece because Google is a new master so instead of masterpiece I just might as well call it a Google piece right and this this one is um this one's called called um painting number 56 there's probably close to 300 down here Including sketches, so I'm I'm out to, I'm out to be Picasso's record. He's got forty five thousand paintings, or, or works of art. He did he did sculpture, illustrations, pottery, sketching, etching, lithos, paintings. He had um thirteen thousand five hundred paintings. So I'm out to beat that record. Forty five thousand paintings. He's in the Guinness Book of World Records, mind you. So I'm I'm out to I'm out to get that get that number one. So. Whoever else out there wants to join me in some healthy, friendly competition, give me a holler. Now, I moved on to like a, a, a furniture, furniture style of, of work. Because who doesn't love furniture? Who doesn't love a really good, comfortable couch? Everyone loves that. Everyone loves a comfortable couch and a, or a comfortable chair. I don't care who you are. But check it out. And then sometimes I might switch over to something like this. This is like a darker time in my life. It's called Purple E-Pills Talking to the Devil. I won't get into that story right now, but check it out. You know, we got stuff everywhere down here. Let's see what else we have. Intense, intense thought process. This is a serious, serious piece. This is like, th all this work represents something too. It's not just meaningless work. It all takes a lot of time. There's thought that's put into everything. Um, for instance, intense thought process. Everybody goes through one. If you've ever been indecisive, if you've ever been trying to figure out, oh, well, do I make a left or do I make a right? And, and you discern, well, you put your options together. You say, okay, if I go left, this could happen. If I go right, that could happen. Now, what about if you don't pick left or right, and you don't make a decision, and you make your own path, too? That's part of the intense thought process. That's what this is about. 
it's done on sheetrock too, so it's like it's it's like a piece of gold to me. Seriously, I listed it as forty-five thousand dollars to be sold. Somebody gave me an offer on this painting for thirty-nine, thirty. I think it was thirty-five thousand. I told them no. I want forty-five thousand. This is an actual ad on Craigslist I put in Europe, and then he came back with a counter offer for thirty-nine thousand, and I told him no. I want forty-five thousand. If he was serious, then you know he would say, "Okay, I see you're serious." You know, I'll come out there with the cash right now, but he didn't. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I still did get an offer for this, but but I didn't sell it because I told him I want forty-five grand for it. That's how much it means to me. Like these little sheetrock collections are like pieces of gold to me. I'll show you the back. You no, know, most of this stuff is autographed. It's got the Scribd signature. This stuff, this stuff is real. This is thought put behind this, you know. A lot of this is made in New York City. Some of it's made on the bus. Some of it's made on the subway, the train, parks, Union Square. That's a good. That's that's one of my one of my main spots when I go to the city. You know, I'm, I'm like a junk man too. I, I like collecting, seeing different treasures you find in people's garbage. Like this, this little piece of, um, I don't know what this is. It's like a leather stitched board. I found this outside somebody's house. Um, outside of a, somebody's like apartment building. There's two of them. They're like, they're, they're really nice. So I think they're like 36 by 9 inches. And um, yeah, snatched them up. I waited 15 minutes. Nobody came by, so I grabbed them and I painted them.